His record impressive, 31 wins with just one loss. 14 of those wins by knockout. He makes his glory debut tonight. Standing six feet three inches tall, 1.90 meters. He weighed in at 186.5 pounds, 84.6 kilos. Fighting tonight for New Zealand, ladies and gentlemen, Israel is Adesanya. Here now is his opponent, a world, European, and national champion. 41 wins, 11 losses, one bounce scored even, 16 career knockouts. At six feet, two and a half inches, 1.89 meters. He weighed in at 186.7 pounds, 84.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Belgium, introducing Philippe, the Belgian ball, Verlinde. And your referee for this contest, Stefano Valenti. Stefano Valenti is the referee for this middleweight matchup between Philip Verlinden and Israel Adesanya. Verlinden's favorite fighter from the old school, none other than Rick Rufus, who just happens to be my color commentator's brother. Well, he was my first favorite fighter, too. That's who got me into this game. The bell and round one. Adesanya telling us that he's more of a counterattacker with strong basics and unorthodox attacks. Verlinden fighting is in his family. His father, Wim, was a Belgian champion kickboxer who trained under legendary trainer, now head of talent relations and glory matchmaker, Cor Hemmers. So Philip introduced to the sport at a young age, took up Muay Thai and kickboxing at the age of 10. Jab splits the guard for Asanya and then blocks that high kick by Verlinden. I gotta tell you, Moro, Philippe's body looks excellent. He's always been carrying a little extra weight because back in the day before Glory, uh, K1 only won heavyweight, so a lot of these guys were forced to gain unneeded weight. He looks great. The key factor in this fight, will he be able to keep up with the speed at a lighter weight class now? One minute has gone in the opening round. Adesanya with the double jab. Right hand across the top of Verlinden's head. Verlinden attacking with the low kick, inside low kick from the Belgian Bull. Minute 45 remaining in the first frame. Jab through the guard by Verlinden. Adesanya putting on the pressure. Avoids that low kick attempt by Verlinden, and then Verlinden returns the favor by avoiding the kick from Adesanya. High kick blocked by the Kiwi fighter. He's of Nigerian heritage, has the Nigerian warrior tradition in him. Also the toughness that we associate with New Zealanders, and when you talk about New Zealand's contributions to kickboxing, you think of guys like Sugar Ray Seppo and Mark Hunt. And who can forget their epic battle back in 2001, won by Ray Seppo. It's one of the greatest Fight. kickboxing fights ever. You guys go home and YouTube that, you'll fall in love with kickboxing. Under a minute left in the opening round. Jab from Verlinden. And Sonia switching stances to Southpaw. Measuring up Verlinden. Verlinden with the high peekaboo guard momentarily. He delivers the jab followed by the high kick that misses. And just misses with that right cross. Plenty of action here. Verlinden coming forward with a flurry of blows. 30 seconds left in the opening round. And Adesanya switching back to orthodox. Liver kick by the New Zealand fighter. Plenty of back and forth action as Adesanya going from southpaw to orthodox. Lead right hand by Verlinden. Very close. An active round. Oh, that kick almost uh, took out of his head off. And earlier in the round, that almost happened as well. And you can get your glory gear and apparel available now. Go to GloryWorldSeries.com for more information and GloryShop.com.
Never too early to be thinking about uh, Christmas gifts for the combat sports and more importantly, glory fan in your family. Stay tuned, round two is straight ahead. Welcome back to the Glory Super Fight Series. Fight! Bell in round two. Low kick. Bias at Asanya again. Really wanting to discombobulate Berlinden. Switching stances now, fighting out of the southpaw stance, but back to orthodox. Sticks the jab. Outside low kick to the lead leg by Berlinden, but Adesanya keeping himself very busy. And here are those unorthodox attacks he talks about, spinning back in to the solar plexus. He uh, reminds me of one of my students he might know. And who would that be? Anthony Pettis. He's switching liver kicks, different angles. Um, you know, good stuff. But Philippe is doing wow. the right stuff too, keeping the pressure on a guy like him. And Asanya beginning to find his rhythm. Utilizing all kinds of attacks here in round two. Backing up for Linden momentarily. But Linden now resetting. Liver kick by the Belgian Bull. Left hook behind the guard by Berlinden. Nice combination by the fighter from New Zealand who is beginning to find his flow here and just avoids that high kick from Berlinden. And Berlinden has attempted that kick a few times. Almost landed with authority though, because he has landed, but not the blow to knock Adesanya down yet. A minute and a half remaining in the second round. Looking at the total strikes thus far. Verlinden's threw more and landed more, so he's definitely our, our winner on the stats right now. He's doing a good job of out hustling Adesanya. Adesanya's doing one thing, he's doing a lot of pretty defenses, good evasions, but when you make a miss, you gotta make him pay in this game. You just gotta start making him pay. Another left kick to the body by Verlinden. Final 60 seconds of the second round. Left hand to the body by Adesanya. Adesanya is doing some high-level boxing defense. He just slipped, came back with his own work. But Philippe is relentless. He, he almost reminds me of the, the Dutch or Bel excuse me, the Belgian version of Margarita. Just pressing, pressing forward and, and forcing his techniques on. 30 seconds left in the second round. Berlinden continues to attack the body with kicks, and there was that left knee to the midsection. Low kick inside by Berlinden. Sonia again from the southpaw stance, wanting to land that straight left, instead drives a knee and going for the jump knee. Under 10 seconds left in the second round, another very close round as Berlinden nails him with the head kick, but Adesanya absorbs it well. That was a great kick. What Berlinden's doing really smart, he throws a left hook and he leans and steps out. And what we call that is a blind spot high kick. You don't see that kick coming. You think they're moving to the left and you kick them from your right. Beautiful technique. Especially for non-athletic guys like me, that's how I can kick someone in the head. Oh, do you have it through six minutes? Uh, I think that kick just won the round for Philippe. Here we are, good low kick on the counter there. Nice tasty back kick on the way back. Listen, Great exchange. Listen, don't stay here, okay? Here's again, he took the hook. And, and it's, we'll look at that again one more time. A super technique rolls, and it almost got that neck kick again. Great high kick. A guy his size okay. kicking. Come on, seconds out, please. Come on. What he needs to do out. is just get his instep hooked around the neck or to the back of the head it'll make a bigger impact and he'll get that knockdown third and final round at asanya opens it up with a flurry of blows outside low kick by berlinden it was a left kick to the body so both of them looking to put the finishing touches on this fight early in round three as they immediately go on the attack tomorrow i gotta tell you this new weight class has given Philippe a new attitude. At the fighters meeting, saw him yesterday in the hotel, the guy had, had a smile on his face from ear to ear. It's like he's a reborn fighter at this new weight class. 
30 seconds gone in the final round. Sonia staying in the pocket. Nice double left by Verlinden. Then blocks the incoming attack from Adesanya. Again from the southpaw stance. This is with the left cross. High kick by Verlinden. Push kick by Adesanya. A minute gone in the final round. And Asanya going to work on the body and then finish that combination off with an outside low kick. But for Linden, the big of the two individuals. Yeah, he's definitely using his size to move him around. You can see who's got the heavier strikes. Every time he hits him, he's moving at Asanya out of position. And that's a big advantage. Edesanya recently fought one of the best in Muay Thai, Simon Marcus, who holds wins over uh, Joe Schilling and Arkham Levin. He had a very close contest, so it shows the potential that he has to be a big star in the sport. Under 90 seconds left in the fight. Good attack by Verlinden, going to the body with the left hand. Shin kick to the body, and was started by Edesanya. And again, testing the waters with that high kick was Philip Verlinden. He's ABC, always trying to close. Always be closing, he's trying to do it. One two combination connects by the Belgian Bull. Coming up on the final 60 seconds of the fight, the middleweight debut for glory veteran Philip Berlinden, who seems to have found a home here in this new weight class. A much more natural fit, having to put on weight to go to heavyweight and then still a little extra around the middle at light heavyweight, but in great shape here at middleweight against the debuting. Israel Adesanya of New Zealand, who is hung tough. Now he's going to the other leg, flying knee. What a clinic he's putting on. Outside low kick by Adesanya. This is the jab, goes downstairs with the right hand of the body, but it's Verlinden who closes the distance. There's a jab, high kick combination by Verlinden. Final 10 seconds of the bout. One would have to say a pretty impressive middleweight debut for 31-year-old Philip the Belgian Bull Verlinden. Yes, I think he's got that on the cards. Great fight. Again, I just think he's a renewed fighter. He's feeling better. Maybe he looks better in the mirror. I don't know what, what it is. He looked fantastic tonight. Uh, threw high kicks effortlessly. The weight cut didn't hurt him. And he was able to keep up with the athleticism and speed of his opponent, who's a very fast guy. Loves the head kick or knee KO and really uh, tried to finish with those techniques. But uh, Adesanya was able to absorb those shots and actually land a few strikes of his own and putting on a show here in his glory debut as we look at the total strike stats for this middleweight encounter here at the Glory Super Fight Series. Well, more landed on the arms were definitely for Linden, and as well he landed more kicks, so definitely 45% overall, I think he wins this fight. That being said though, Morrow, I, I do want to see Israel fight more. He's a fun fighter to watch. And just 24 years of age, came in with a record of 32 and one with 15 wins uh, via form of knockout. Verlinden was 41, 11 and one coming in with 16 wins inside the distance. We have the judges scores to deliver the verdict, our Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, after three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score them about the same way. 30-27, a unanimous decision for your winner, Philippe Verlinden. So Philippe Verlinden ends his two-fight losing streak and has rediscovered himself at middleweight, where maybe he belonged all the time, but again, with Glory now introducing different weight classes, I do believe Philip Verlinden has found a home in the middleweight division. There he was, hunting for that high kick from round one, going to the knee to the face. Again, always attacking, another knee up to the head there, another knee into the body, finish round two. Again, always on the attack. Philip Verlinden improves his Glory record to four and three.